Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, another few drawings and sketch up for schools. You should sign in with your Google account. It's a Google product. And then you wanna go to create new and you're gonna be working in feet and inches. This is gonna be assignment number seven, just a bunch of different odd shapes to get us used to using all of the tools on here. I'll put a link to this assignment in the description um, if you can follow along with that as well. First thing I always do in Google SketchUp is go up here and I title it. So you want to title it with your name and block. And right now I'll just title it assignment number seven. And you also want to select the folder you're going to put it in. Um, that's always kind of the first thing to do. Okay, I'm going to cancel that because I've already created it and saved it. Okay. Then first thing I want to do is create a two by two square. So I go over here to my rectangle tool. Here's a rectangle. I'm going to click pretty close to this guy's toes. And you can see how the square is all blue. So I just click once and let go of the button. And I drag it up to the upper right without touching the button. And I'm going to hit two feet, comma, two feet. And you can see it in the lower right corner of my screen. And then enter. Now, once I have that, I'm going to go over here to extrude or push pull. This is going to turn the 2D square into a prism. I'm going to draw it up 10 feet and then enter. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go back to the selection tool, then delete this guy here. Okay, so now that I have this prism, we're going to work with scaling and kind of um, consistently scaling. So I'm going to work on the top. So I'm holding the roller button down on my mouse and kind of getting a good view of the top. So with my selection tool, I'm going to select that top surface. Here's the scale button here. So that was under the move. So here's scale, scale selected. Holding the control button down, I'm going to push this in. And then I'm going to um, scale at the 0.75. So you're going to enter 0.75 and then hit enter. Okay, I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. I don't know if you could see it. See it's tapering in there. And now I'm going to extrude the top surface. I'm going to select this. I want to select that top surface. I'm going to extrude. There's a pull push button. I'm going to extrude that up. I'm going to go with my selection tool. Select that top face over here to the scale tool, holding the control button in, I'm going to pull it in. So it's a point and I'll hit escape. So it tapers in a little bit at the top and then it has that point on the top. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to go over to my eraser and I'm going to hold down the shift key and erase the lines so with the shift key down. I'm going to erase the lines around here, make it into a solid. I can pan around and do that as well. So there's our first object. Now we're going to go to our second object. So I start with the selection. Our second object is going to be a circle. So I'm going to make a circle a radius one and go over here to the circle. Same thing I got to make sure it's blue. I want it pretty close. So I'm going to click, draw it out without holding the mouse button down and type in one foot, enter. That's my radius. Speed that up four inches. So extrude the top surface up four inches. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to offset the top end two inches. Under extrude is offset. I'll set, I'm going to click on that and go in two inches. And I'm also extrude that down two inches. Okay, so that gives me that bottom shape right there. And then I'm going to create my name as a watermark on the inside of this. I'm back to my selection tool. And under the create here is my letters. I'll just type in there Colfax. Um, 
maybe four inches might be enough height with zero extrusion. Put the pull fax right in the middle. I'll make sure it's on that face. See, it'll say that. I'll hit escape out. And then I'll kind of zoom in on that. That's going to be my watermark. And then back to my selection tool, I'm going to select this bottom, delete that, this top, circle, delete that. Then if I go up here to search and I type in x-ray, I can see that it's in there. Or if I want to deselect x-ray, I could do it that way. I'm going to select this top and then pull it up two feet. So what do you want to I'm going to pull this up to feet, enter. So here's offset. I'm going to offset that one inch. And I'm going to go back over here to extrude. I'll click that face. And I'm going to draw it down 23 inches, enter. Scale this larger. So the first thing I do is go to my selection tool. I click that top face, not that ring. So I see how it's dotted there. And then I'm going to go over here to scale. Pulls up the scaling. I'm going to hold the control key in. I'm going to drag this. I'm going to let go. And then I'm going to type in 1.5, enter. Control keys, what's allowed me to keep it uniform. So that looks good. I'll escape out of that. I'm going to extrude up this top surface straight up one foot. Back to the selection key. I'm going to grab the top face again over to scale. And this time I'm going to push it in to 0 0.5. So with the control key held in, I'm going to start pushing it in. Then type in 0 0.5, enter. You rotate around a little bit. Back to my selection tool, I'm going to click the top face. See, I'm just click, clicking the edges. Part of it is that I wasn't zoomed in enough. And, uh, I just want the face. So the edge unclicked, and now I'm on the face. And I want to extrude it up six inches. So I'm going to hit my extrude key. And I'm going to type in six inches. Back to select, I'm going to grab that top face again, over to scale, and I'm going to scale this to 1.25. I'm going to hold the control key down, grab that, pull it out, and type in 1.25, enter. Okay, so that's it. I'll escape out of that, take a look around. You can see it's all uniform and like a big vase. Okay, so now I want to hide the lines. I'm going to hit the eraser. The shift key, and I could get rid of those lines, make it one solid like that. I could get rid of all of the lines. And then after I'm done with that, I want to go back to my selection tool, select the whole object, and then we're going to paint it uh, on this side right here. Under materials, I'll paint it a red, and then I could click that color on there. Okay, we'll create our third shape now. It's going to be a rectangle. Um, here's a rectangle. I'm going to click on the bottom. I want to make sure it's blue. So I'm extruding up in the z-axis. Um, it's going to be six foot, comma three foot. Enter. And I want to extrude it up six inches. So over to the extrusion button, I'll grab that and bring it up six inches. Enter. And I'm going to offset that top edge in two inches to make my watermark. So right here is offset. I'll grab that edge and pull it in two inches. Enter. And then I'm going to extrude down three inches. I'm going to grab that and bring it down three inches. And then next, I'm going to go over to my letters here. I'm going to create my letters. I'm going to type in my name. You're going to type in your name. Um, probably make them a little bit bigger. 
I don't know, maybe eight inches here to kind of fill a space, zero extrusion. And I'll just click that in there, escape out and controlling or creating those letters. Then either I could go to the eraser with the shift key and del delete these lines. And then additionally, I want to make sure I delete all the faces as well. I'm not sure if I got it quite right to make sure my watermark's in there. So I could go back up here to search for x-ray. I could put it on. I do have a couple lines I could have still deleted in the face, but there's my name inside and I'll turn that back off. Okay, let me escape out of that. Okay, now I'm going to pull the top of the box up two foot nine inches. I'm going to hit extrude, grab the top of that box. I'm going to go up two feet nine inches, enter. I'm going to offset the top two inches in. I'm going to push it down two feet ten inches. So back over here to offset. I want to offset in two inches. And I'm going to go over here to extrude. I'm going to grab this, draw it down two feet ten inches. Two feet ten inches. Okay, so now I'm going to move around here. So I have this face with my box showing. I'm going to come over here to my pencil tool and select my pencil. I'm going to drag around here. So I hit the midpoint and then I got to change my orientation here a little bit. When I drag this out, I want to make sure it's red so that it's parallel to the red axis and I want it to come out six inches. So I'm going to type in six inches enter and I'll escape out of that. I'll do the same thing again. I'm going to click back on the pencil and I'm going to come to the bottom. There's my midpoint. I want to make sure it's red parallel to the red axis. Six inches, enter. Still in my pencil tool, and I'll click from there to there. It's not an object yet, so I'm going to escape out of there. Go back to my pencil and click on that endpoint to that endpoint. Now that it's finished or closed, it fills in it as a face. Next thing I want to do is come over here and I'm going to draw a semi-arc over here and then just use the freehand tools to draw some stuff here. And then I'm going to trace this with the follow me tool to give this thing a bunch of crazy contours. Now I'm going to create an arc on here under the arc button. I want to select a two point arc. So this one right here is a two point arc. I'll click on a vertex there, say, somewhere else on the edge and then I'll type in three inch radius so I have that arc there I'm going to go over to the pencil tool select the pencil I do want to make sure I click on the edge and draw out you know whatever shape you want say like that and I'll hit escape out. And then under the pencil tool, now I'm going to go to the freehand tool again, making sure I click on the edge. So I click on the edge. Some shape like that, and I'll escape. Then go to my selection tool and delete all of that and make sure that it's just like a flap sticking out. So I did I'm delete that extra line, and those lines as well. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take this whole outside ring and trace it along this. I'm gonna use the follow me tool. I'm on my selection tool. I'm gonna to click that edge, turns blue, shift that edge, 
I'm going to take all the outside edges. Now that they're all selected all the way around that outside edge, I'm going to hit follow me. There's follow me there. Then I'm going to click on that semicircle. I'm going to escape out back to my selection tool. Again, shift. So I have the outside edge back to follow me. I'll click on that. I'll escape out of that. Do my selection tool, see how that thing's working. Yes, yeah, so that's actually worked pretty well. And I'll do that one more time. So I'm going to go back to my selection tool. I'm going to select that line, holding my shift key down. That line. The so outside rings all selected again. Back over here to follow me. And then I'm going to click on that irregular shape. And it puts that profile on there. So I'll escape out my selection tool. And there's my planner. So I could erase a lot of those lines I've created and make it into more of a solid. And then there's a fourth object on here, which I think I'll just let you go through the worksheet and figure it out from that worksheet. It's a rotate rather than extrusion to get a solid. Um, but I feel like this video is getting pretty long as it is. So please comment below. I'm sure a lot of you have better ways to do these operations. So please comment below, hit like and subscribe if you like the video. Okay, thank you.